Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and in this screencast, I would like to show you how you can create a Google Form that will interface with Google Maps so that you can create an interactive, browsable map like this so that you'll be able to click on place marks on the map and see information that other people have entered into your map. So the first thing we're going to do is actually go to Google Drive, and I've already logged into my Google Drive, and I'm going to create a new form and this is going to be the form that people are going to fill out to go ahead and submit this. Now I've gone ahead and uh, kind of typed this information in to save a little bit of time and I will come get my description. This is a survey that I'm going to share for a keynote that I'm doing in Colorado tomorrow. And one of the important things to remember when you do your questions is that you do not want to use any special characters. So for instance here, I'm just going to put name and I'm going to say that that's text and make that required, but I'm not going to put a colon or a dash or any kind of special character with that. So folks are going to enter their name, then they're going to enter their email. In this case, in addition to making it required, I will go into advanced settings and turn on some data validation, and I can basically just require that it's in the form of an email address. It's not necessarily going to make sure it's a valid email address, but it'll make sure that that is an email address. Um, next, I'm going to um, ask people, I guess I really don't need that for the session on this one. So we'll just ask them their Twitter ID. And this one we will not make optional. Uh, and then I'm going to ask them their educational role. Now if I want to, you know, ask for additional elaboration, I can do that. Oops, actually, actually I didn't want to do that. I want to, I want to make this one a uh, paragraph text. Well, no, I don't. I'll just I'll go ahead and stick with text. I don't want to be be too long. And so I'll just say please briefly describe uh, your current educational roles. All right, and that will be required. We're going to do their blog and then their current hometown. So in this case, uh, if you have a blog, what is the web address? And this one as well, I'm going to go to advanced settings and do some data validation. I'm going to uh, require that it's a URL, but I'm not going to require it. But if they put something in, that's going to make sure that they um, actually do co you know, copy and paste or type in a link. Okay, and the last one is going to be their hometown and I am going to require that. So I've got six questions. I'm going to require name, email, educational role, and hometown. And basically that's it. Um, the keys are I need to make sure I don't use any special characters in the column headings, which I'm going to be, you know, which I put in there first. I need to make sure that I have at least one field that is going to be the location. Uh, oh, and I needed to tell them, um, please um, type the city and state example the Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, or maybe since this is Denver or Red Colorado, I'll say Denver, Colorado. Okay, and all right, so that's going to hopefully help it out. I, I may need to go in and clean that up a little bit, but anyway, basically, basically that's it, and I'm going to uh, come in and say thank you for, um, thanks for submitting this form. I'm going to go ahead and type, you can view the results uh, on, and I'm going to come back and paste the link to the actual map after I create it. Um, and I'll leave the link here to, to publish another response. But we'll go ahead and send, say send form. And what this is going to do is it's going to do, uh, create the link where I can go ahead and fill that out. So why don't we go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and fill out this form. Um, I think I want to customize it actually. Well, I'm going to do that later. I, could, I can customize this and put my own logo and stuff like that at the top. Um, but I want to go ahead and put some data in here so that I have something to import. So I'm going to put in my name. Um, I'm going to put in, um, well, I'll put in my public 
PO box, I'm going to say I'm W. Fryer. Um, I'm going to be a director of technology for a PK-12 independent school. I'll start that next month. And I'm going to do my blog address, www.speedofcreativity.org. And I live in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. All right. I'm going to go ahead and submit the link. And right now it doesn't have a view link. I need to put that on. But uh, there is data that is inside that form. So now that I have created my form that people are going to fill out, and I have submitted at least one entry, what I can do now is come over here to Google Maps. And I've just gone to maps.google.com, and I'm going to click below where it says My Maps. And then it gives me this pencil link that I can click on where it says Create. So I'm now going to create a map. I'm going to call this map... Um, Let's see. I think I'll just call it attendees. So I'll just copy this and put this in. So this is going to be attendees geomap. All right, and we'll save it. I could put more of a description in there. And now I'm ready to import my layer, okay? So I'm going to tap right under here where it says import. And instead of uploading a file like an Excel or a comma separated or a KML file, I'm going to tap on my Google Drive. And I'm going to search for the word responses because that's what uh, Google Form will automatically create. It should show me my latest one. So here it is. These are the responses to my form. And right now it just has one. But I'm going to go ahead and type, type select. Okay. Now, if I had not um, been really careful and I had put colons or commas or dashes or some special character, it would have given me an error here. So make sure that you don't have any special characters in the column fields. So the first thing it says is, where are you going to put place marks? We're going to say current hometown. And we're going to click next. And then it says, what do you want, what do you want to use for the title? And I'm just going to uh, use name. And now I'll go ahead and click Finish. So what this is going to do right now is not going to be that impressive. It's only going to have a single place mark because, you know, I'm the only person that has submitted this so far. And I didn't put my exact address. So, wow, look at that. It is like zoomed into the middle of Oklahoma City. But I'll go ahead and zoom out so you can kind of see, well, maybe not that far. Um, you can see what this is going to look like. And when I click on that place mark, um, it goes ahead and presents the information here um, that I that I have shared and oh, that's interesting it didn't do the blog address I guess I had figured that out earlier that for some reason it doesn't do hyperlinks I don't know if that's something that they try to do with spam uh, but at least they, they do the Twitter ID so uh, I'm not positive if it's if, if you can do the address if we don't um, add HTTP I think maybe maybe that would work if we didn't include the full link um, but anyway that's that's the geo map and so what I can do now is I can share this link uh, with others. So I can um, get the address for this map, and that is this link that's right up here at, at the top. Um, I can view it. Right now I could go in here and edit it, you know, and, and one of the things that I, I may do later um, is do individual styles, because that's, that's what I did here. They and styled these by name, and that's what gave everybody their own color, as you can see here. Um, but I'll go ahead and just open up a new incognito window so we can see this as people who don't have access rights to this can see. Ah, and that's important to do because, look, it's going to try to make us log in in order to see it. So to allow other people to see the map that I have created, I need to share it. And so I'm going to go ahead and click the share link. Um, it's not the one that I wanted. <laughs> there we go. And so now... Um, I can change this from private to anyone with the link. And it, so anyone with no sign-in required can view it. And I'm going to choose Save. So now I'm going to have a link. And then when people submit this form, I'll go ahead and copy this. When people submit uh, this form, um, I want them to be able to click on the link and view this. So I'm going to come in here at the bottom and paste my results, or paste that link. So now uh, people are going to see that, and then I'll log in with an incognito window so we can see how this is for other folks. And look, now people can, ooh, it looks like I live in a church. <laughs> this will be zoomed out more as I get more folks submitting this map. Um, but uh, anyway, this is going to allow people to see this dynamic map and 
uh, not have to you know be logged in and I don't have to do it, specifically share or know their email address to share the map with them. So I hope that has been helpful to you. Um, if you'd like to learn more about geomapping, I'd encourage you to visit my website, which is showwithmedia.com, and you can click the link right here to geomap. In fact, that may be where you found this, but um, I have different tutorials and things like that that you can check out about geomaps. In addition, if you like video tutorials, I'd encourage you to visit playingwithmedia.com, and you can join the videos with Wes video library, which I have been working on for a number of years and I'm continuing to contribute videos to. So, good luck to you and enjoy creating geomaps.